on the way up here, I was like, we're going to diss 50. I'm about to say some shit mm -hmm. to get on, to get into the blogosphere. I'm about to call the nigga out <laughs> real quick. I need to get on the blog. It's so Let's it, get these blogs out there, nigga. Come on, man. Let's talk <laughs> that nah. shit. Bang. Martin Luther King had more than a dream. He was out for social change and that sort of a thing. Your boy Saigon right now. You checking out thisis50.com. You already know. Message. Listen. I'm a nigga on a mission. Do what I gotta to get my people in position. Help them envision a better living condition. Stop putting so much trust in your religion. They couldn't conquer without division. Boy, you still black. I don't care if you Catholic or you Christian. Police will still fuck you up, young buck. Bust you in your head, leave your body by the dump truck. Revolution got me pumped up. But it's still a fact, black people think so fucked up. How they got money to go war with whoever wrecked the buildings. But nothing for Africa's HIV infected children. That mean the money for a life they could save. They'd rather use it to send a life to a grave. And that's not righteous ways. That ain't even a half. My real or real, I could write for days. But I don't know how they might behave. You seen what they did to the Pox Martins and Marvin Gaye. Could you picture the Black Panther Party today? Using hip hop to say the same thing Marcus Garvey would say. Imagine Malcolm X over a beat, trying to rally up the troop and take control of the street. Still in the window holding the heat. But now we got soldiers on the corner like police patrolling the beat. Fuck GEDs. Niggas need DP CDs. We don't need PCP. We don't need flat screen TVs and DVDs. We need more knowledge of who we be. You see, do we really know where them guns come from? Do we really know where the drugs come from? How come it only affects us and not them? How come Jesus Christ is still not come? Why am I wrong if I kill a nigga that punched me, but it's right for you to grow blow up the whole country, motherfucker? <laughs> this nigga gonna make it. Nah, nah, nah. Project, let's talk about it, man. Yes. Name of it. Bread and circus. Bread and circus is wild bread and circus. Okay, I'm, I'm an avid reader. I read a lot. And bread and circuses was a, a, a ideology in Rome. When Rome was like America, mm -hmm. Rome used to be the superpower of the world. Right, right. So when Rome was like America, they had a shit called bread and circuses, which was to like pacify the masses, like give them food and entertainment and they'll they'll be so caught up in shit. We while we over here, the government doing the real shit. We over here stealing the oil. These mother, we just tell niggas gas prices is high. We don't tell them why. <laughs> you know what I mean? mm -hmm. But yeah, gas went up again. Yeah, this toll's hiking up to thirty dollars you to cross this bridge and that and we just sit there and go, damn, this shit is high as hell. The cost of fuel, I mean it's just too expensive. But that's all, you know what I'm saying? Because meanwhile, we're so entertained all year round that there's never no time to really sit and think. Me and mama got a lot of commonality. I don't want to introduce her to abnormality. You know, you divert the public, the masses of the people, while you over here doing your dirty work. It's, it's you drugging your victim before you rape them. It makes perfect sense. You know, when you're trying to sh fuck a nigga, yeah, take, yeah, go to sleep. <laughs> well, I do, well, I do what I do. I just realized I was lost, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. It was true. Kiss on the lips. I'm in the relief. It's a relief and shit. Go pick up that bread and circuses, you know what I'm saying? Yo, it's a game changer. It's innovators. I call it progressive hip hop. I call it think rap. So if you like to think and shit, after you leave the club, when you got that hangover the next day, that's when you pop in my shit and I'm gonna tell you why you fucked up. Me and Fifth came and to rent, like. I'm talking about when he started doing the mixtapes. And I kind of followed his formula. I learned from watching Sha Money and then what they was doing. I used to be in the basement with Sha mm. at Fifth and, and Yeah Yo. And what but, happened? But, now nah, we, we good. We, we, we turned out well. Nigga, you, know? you sound like you lying. Liar! Liar! So you see him right we, now. He ain't he, gonna, he gonna do this right here. This nigga. Yeah, yeah yes, yes. Exactly what we gonna do. I'm gonna keep 100. That's all I ever wanted from him. This is when Fifth had just got to deal with, with, uh, with um, it was M. Untold Story, exclusive. Untold Story, it's the first time I told Story. We rocking it this time, we we rocking, like this is my man. He true life, true is my man. I'm like, yo, we gonna put together the L, you know what I'm saying, G unit. I was damn near part of G unit, like I was, that's where it was going. I was in, the, you understand, I was in the basement with these dudes. Oh, this is exclusive. I was in the basement with Sha and, and Fifth when they was, I was there when he was recording, Um. Yeah, after my cheddar, and the thing you did too. I was watching him in the booth like, this kid is on to something big. After my cheddar, <laughs> and your friends, they see it too. Come on. Just feel I know just what you're He goes, yo, I'm Luther Vandross in the shower, nigga. Wow. I was there for that, you know what I'm saying? Like, in the room, and I'm like, damn. Doing push-ups, 100 guns laying around, bulletproof vests everywhere, you know what I mean? 
Smurf running around. Like I was there with bangers, all them niggas was running around. T 20 million guns. And a little minivan. He's right with a minivan. Right. Nah, he's he a good dude, though. He got right. a good heart. He got a big heart. Right. Because he he embraced me from the start. Mm. He was in New Everybody knew him, but he was he was on fire at the time. Mm. So for him to even take a chance to rock with somebody who because most artists look at you as like, you might be competition, I ain't fucking with you. Mm -hmm. But he embraced me, he let me in a circle, because he mm -hmm. didn't have to do that. Because mm -hmm. Shy wasn't calling the shots, he was at 50 was calling the shots. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for me to even have that experience, and he, I learned from watching him about the mixtape game, how to go out there and grind. And then I ended up getting the deal from following his, his blueprint. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? One day on the two-way pages, you know, I'm hitting, I'm hitting him. He goes to LA to, to start working on, on Get Richard Out Trying. Mm -hmm. So I'm hitting him, yo, what's up, fam? Da -da -da -da. I ain't getting no hit back. Da -da -da -da. No, no hit back. So you know when you testing to see if a nigga just ignoring you or if a nigga ain't getting your shit? So he's like, let me throw a little curveball. You know so I said some slick shit. Don't say like, damn, you a son, bitch? Let me, nah, I said like, oh. let me find out you feeling yourself or some shit like that. Then that nigga hit me back. Oh, <laughs> damn. Damn. That nigga was like, I don't know what the fuck made you think to talk to me like that. And then from that point on, it went downhill. Dang. Hey, hey. And we ain't spoke yeah, But it don't, it don't take much. Shit, that almost happened to me one day. Shit, I know. I'm like, it's got to always be about you, huh, 50? He said, yeah. I was like, okay, I want it that way. I'm after my cheddar. I gave you a stab. Gucci this, Fendi that. Yeah. Ball berry bag, shoes in the hat to match. Uh -huh. I like the way it look, but bitch, I ain't buying that. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but no more proud of shoes. Uh -huh. Man, I just want to chill, you want to go out. Woo! See me probably with some other chick, you want to show out. You say I'm wrong when I dog your ass like I should. Now you can reminisce.